low. It's uh, August uh, 5.30, about 5.30 a.m. Uh, downtown Carlson, Boston, Massachusetts. Today, my discussion will deal with, well, let's say, same-sex marriage. It just came off the top of my head. Same-sex marriage. Why do men want to marry men and women want to marry women? So my standpoint is that the man is abused probably by another man sexually. It could have been his brother, a friend, his father, his uncle. He was sexually abused at, and when he was young. And it, it became it became something that he could always reflect on during his life. And somewhere down the line, he decided that he would be a homosexual. There's social probabilities that probably makes a man want to be a homosexual. Those probabilities are if he's in a community of homosexuals, the likelihood that he's becoming a homosexual is almost 100%, especially if he's been sexually abused. Now, considering how this is, the society is, let's say that he was given counseling and he still maintained the desire to be a homosexual. I think the reason that he would maintain to be a homosexual, even though his guidance may be against it in certain instances, could be a matter of a lack of income, because you know you can he probably can prostitute his ass. And two, the pleasure in the social and the homosexual act may be something that he enjoys. Uh, let me, uh, this is early in the morning, and this, I'm sitting at Ashman, I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready to go to uh, Providence, Rhode Island. I live between Boston, Massachusetts and Providence, Rhode Island, which are two completely different settings. One is a small, well, it's a city. Providence is a, lot, it's a city, but it's much smaller than Boston. But you can get to the, the grassroots easier, I guess, in Providence than you can in, in Boston. So now I'm at the Ashmont Station. I'll wait to catch the train, the uh, train to uh, South Station, where we will be boarding to go to Providence. Uh, let me uh, cut this video off because I want to check it and see how I look. Go on, signing off.